please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. In the aftermath of the military coup d'etat in Guinea, which swept away President Alpha Conde, Paul Bia took on September 6, 2021, an important decree appointing officials to the Ministry of Defense. This reshuffle has affected almost all sectors of the Cameroonian army. Alpha Kunde explained the loyalty of Cameroonian soldiers to Paul Bia by the multiple advantages they benefit from the regime. Yaoundé would have done everything possible to satisfy even the oldest army executives. But according to English Cameroon for United Cameroon, there is a flagrant coup in Cameroon. This particular coup is no less violent than that of Guinea. The English Cameroon for United Cameroon explained in a tribune. In a column published a few hours after the military coup in Guinea, English Cameroon for United Cameroon tries to explain to the public that Cameroon and Cameroonian institutions are being taken hostage by three individuals. These individuals are according to English Cameroon for United Cameroon, the First Lady Chantal Bia, the Secretary General of the Presidency of the Republic, Ferdinand Gongo, and the head of the military security, called Bamkwe. In other words, the platform recognizes that there is indeed a seizure of power by individuals not recognized by the Cameroonian constitution. But this seizure of power is not yet perfect. It still has to face resistance. According to English Cameroon for United Cameroon, the conflict in West Cameroon is a conflict over constitutional rule. France and its colony are determined to prove the superiority of improvised Jacobin rule over the constitutional rule. The cause of the suppression is advanced by presently and possibly future measures of the Cameroonian state. Then English Cameroon for United Cameroon finally concludes that a combination of factors can lead to the success of the new coup d'etat, Ngongo, Bamkwi, Chantalbia, and it will not be new for France-Africa.